Hi, this is Tom with the Ceramic Real Store. Today we're going to talk about stone spacing, especially in use of our PS Wool Ring, which will be similar to the Big Green Egg Expander, which they're coming out with this year. The one thing we don't want to do is we don't want to put the stone right down on the fire ring. This is a 16 inch diameter stone. The inside diameter of the fire ring is 15 and 3 quarters, so that stone's actually bigger than the inside diameter of the fire ring. And all we're doing is creating a cap over the fire ring. We can't get the heat out. All we're going to do is burn more fuel, probably shorten the life expectancy of the fire box, fire ring, and certainly the stone above. So the goal here is to lift this stone up, give us some more options, and we'll take a look at that here in the next segment. Okay, so how do we solve the issue with spacing when we're using the PS Wu? Very simple, we just add our large spider. What we can do is drop the spider legs inside the triangular legs on the PS Wu. This will allow us to lift everything up as one unit. And now all we have to do is take the stone, 16 inch again, set it on the spider. And now you can see we have a larger gap. This is a one inch gap, perfect for doing barbecue cooks. We're gonna get the heat out of the firebox. We're gonna protect whatever it is we have on top. Uh, we're not trapping any heat, and if we want even more spacing, very simply, just take the spider and set it on top of the fire ring, and now we have 1.75 inches of open air in this area here. This is a great setup if we're going to do half stones, which we'll look at next. Okay, so how do we handle half stones with the PS Wu and spider? Very easily. We can take the spider, set it down, put the half stone on. This is our 17 and a half inch stone, works well with the 18 inch grid. And now we have a direct and an indirect side. Indirect side, direct side. The goal of this stone, just as when we did the bottom stone, we wanted a large space here. What we're really after is a very small space here so we get the full effect of, of the protection of that stone underneath that grid. The bigger this space is in here, the easier for the heat to come around the stone to be able to affect the temperatures across the cooking grid above. So the larger stone, higher up, much better than a larger stone or a smaller stone, much lower. The other thing we can do is add any size stone you like, 13 inches, 15 inches, 16 inches, or the 17 and a half inch stone that we have pictured. Ideally, what I would recommend and probably would prefer if I was buying the setup would be two 15 inch half stones. That way I can do the full barbecue cook. I can still get a little bit of added protection up here with the 15 inch stone, but I can also take the 15 inch stone put the spider, put it down, put the stone on it, and then add the cooking grid on top. And now in essence I've done is an indirect side and a direct side directly on the fire ring. Very, very handy, very multifunctional setup. Again, thanks for watching. Any more questions or comments, please give us a call or an email, ceramicgrillstore.com. Thank you.